Welcome back guys. So it's been a month plus. This is not an easy task. I think um, um, the main problem with these castings is me. Because I have no patience to wait till this fully hardens. And then what happens is that we get cavities like these. But these I'm going to keep. They're not that bad. I've seen worse. And what I think we also need to do is to let it be for at least a week because in this cold temperature it's February it's not that cold outside it's 16 degrees Celsius but um, it's cold enough for the epoxy to cure rather slowly bottom line this is ready and we got a nice bluish tint to this beetle and I've been wanting to do some experimentations with epoxy so First things first, we have on this um, series of playing with epoxy or resin, whatever you choose to call it, we have a lot of dyes. And these dyes, for me, being, by the way, are glow in the dark dyes. So if I shine UV on these, I don't think you can see. But we're going to make a short experiment in a short while. And we're going to play with these. Now they're numbered. I had planned on numbering them. I didn't uh, remember they were numbered. But they are numbered. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour another batch of resin. And I'm going to set these. Just a drop each. Nothing really, um, nothing really fancy. But I'm going to set a drop per die. So point is that we're going to get some sort of dye management control so we'll know if each and every one of the dyes that's sort of a 10 one uh, <coughs> is ready is usable for epoxy for resin so as you can see we got a strip of masking tape running along here and we got these dies. Now I also have another set here. Let me check if you guys can see the whole set. Let me see. Yeah, like so. So we got another set of dies. And um, I know that one of them, at least, or maybe a combination of them, don't exactly help the epoxy to cure. Some do interfere. So we're going to test these as well. We're going to take a drop here, a drop here, and just a tiny drop and just let it be. Now the black and gold, or gold and black, have been tested. They don't interfere. So I can take them out. And I have um, this mug of extra resin. And it does have a layer of gold underneath over here a really thin layer but it did harden so these will not interfere and we don't have to invest time in these the rest will so I'm gonna mark these from 1 to 10 and we'll see what we got so we got we got more than 10 I think 4 8 10 oh, 12 total okay so gold is going to be number one. Black is going to be number two. And the rest. Okay, so we got a nice box set. We got drop set. We also have a new mold. These are 50 mil falcon tubes. So we're going to cast the small one over there and see how it does. But we have something else to cast as well. We have this one. This is um, a Bumbus B, I think. If I'm getting it right, I found it in the driveway. She was already way past. And I'm thinking she got really smacked hard by a car or something because she's partially crushed. But uh, we're going to. You know, we're going to put that in resin and see how it does. 
Right, so we got a quite a bit of casting to do, so I'm thinking something like uh, 30 grams should do for most of the work. Right, so here we go. Right, so we have the dyes set. Let's try and see which one is fluorescent. And I'll have this UV toy. And let's see, I'll shut down the lights. Well, I think we can already see which is fluorescent and which is not. And all the glow in the dark ones do glow in the dark. Can you see that? I think this is really cute. I can actually see all the spills I have. Once all this cures, we'll be set to go. Right, so what do we do with this one? We got oh, quite a bit there left. Tell you what, I have, and if you haven't seen my chapter on the bottle stopper, I have some more of these. I'll just drip it inward, that's the easiest way. And once full, you move on to the next. Right, so a few drops for each. Right, and I think we did a nice job today. Not a very clean one, <laughs> right, but a uh, really nice one. As you can hear guys, it's raining cats and dogs outside. The bumblebee had been poured, it has shrunk a bit, so I'm going to fill that cavity again, off camera, 
and I had to pour it because um, I prepared a pet batch and forgot about it, but uh, all, all is well. We had a few trapped bubbles, I'm guessing, I don't know for sure. And, oh no, it's, this is a good casting, sort of, um, and a good mold, I think it would turn out quite well. So that's that. Now, as for the colors, you've already seen. These do glow in the night, they have hardened. And I can feel any stickiness or softness or whatever. I do know that certain combinations, for example, these two together will prevent the epoxy from hardening. So it's not exactly that you can mix them whatever you want, whenever you want, and uh, expect that uh, the epoxy would harden as is, as if you were using one dye. So that being said, you should be cautious about that. Also, epoxy is an exothermic reaction, meaning when the epoxy is hardening, it generates heat. So if one of these chemicals were to, for example, speed up this reaction, it could cause a fire hazard. When I do these experiments, I always do those in these stainless steel pans, which are a bit off-site from the camera view here. And the point is that they can be protective enough for the rest of the equipment here. And I also take it outside, well, while I'm at it, at least for the first curing steps. While it's setting, and once it's semi-hard already, then I know it's already we're past the critical area where things can go out of line. So this has been a nice experiment. These do glow nicely in the dark. Uh, we have two white ones which are basically clear. You can't see anything in the epoxy. It just looks like plain epoxy. So in that sense, we're we're. It's nice to have a color that's not a color. They're pearlish, whitish. These ones and these are fluorescent. So actually phosphorescent. They glow in the dark. I think this experiment has proven itself. These are useful and we're going to play with these shortly. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you soon.